Welcome back to the channel. In this video we are continuing our trek across Poto Mountain Ridge, the Auto Tour. In this section there are several more wildlife ponds and dispersed campsites. Awesome views and the colors are very beautiful this time of year. This section's not really all that rough and it ends at a pretty cool campsite with a spectacular view. This route is on the Onyx Off-Road app. So if you use Onyx, you can just pull your Onyx maps up and you'll see these areas or these sections of this route in blue. If you'll notice, there are other blue sections that can be linked to this route to extend your overland route. You could have a nice day trip or you could link all these sections and have a multiple day overlanding excursion. It's really up to you as far as how long and how far you want to drive. Plenty of dispersed campsites, plenty of great views, this makes an awesome multi-trip or multi-day overland adventure. We appreciate you watching the videos. And if you have any comments or questions, please put those in the comment section. Our contact information is also in our About on our YouTube page. We appreciate each and every one of you. We hope that you too can get out and explore this route. It's well worth getting out and seeing even in the cold. We will pick up section five in the next video as we come off of Poto Mountain and head south into another section of the Washita National Forest where we will turn east and head back toward Highway 71. On the east side of Highway 71 is another section of routes that, or trails that we have uploaded to Onyx Off-Road. They are also live on the app. If you look at the blue lines on Onyx Off-Road, you will see this makes a pretty big kind of oval route all the way through different sections of the Washita National Forest. Very enjoyable trip, and like I said, just awesome views throughout the area. Great dispersed campsites throughout the areas. And uh, some of them we did not share in our videos, but as you drive the route, you will see them. And like I said, if you do get a chance to do this route, and especially if you get a chance to do the whole thing, we sure appreciate comments on the sections you did and the comments on each video because each video on our channel pretty much matches up to a section of route that's on the Onyx Off-Road app. And it's not real hard to uh, put the route that's on Onyx to the video that we have made. Okay, pretty sure we found another pond. Let's see if I can get over there without getting my feet all wet. Mm, there is another pond. It's also a road that we passed just right over here that goes up in the woods. And you can see part of it back there. So I would imagine you could come back up in here and camp. It's like a pretty flat spot back up in there. I'm beginning to think that this pond ain't been here all that long. All the trees that's been pulled out. All right, we're going to continue on. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all just finish the video and hope you enjoy don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here because it helps us out more than you know hit that like button or hit the don't like button 
but get some interaction going on our channel because we appreciate it. Thank you.
This is another pond we found on the side of the road. Section four that we are continuing. Section four has been pretty smooth. Won't be long, we'll be to the end of section four and we'll start section five.
we're still on section four. Got pictures of that. That's where we come from. There's a little clearing over here. Got a person wanting to pull up and pop up a tin, a rooftop tin could. We're gonna be going left. And if you go right, I believe we came up one of these. I believe we came up that way from Hebner, Oklahoma. But we're gonna continue uh, left.
track four of Poto right here we're actually coming down off the mountain area and there is a campsite where we're in in this that's got this awesome view and on the this side it's going up some great big rocks and it goes way up there and this is the road we just came down to find this awesome campsite on the hill. This water flows down there. Man, this is an awesome, awesome area to ride first part that we came up on the east end was pretty rough don't know that you're going to bring a regular car up here anyway we're going to continue on to five starting five from this campsite